for coming in and thanks for watching. My guests today are angry, but they say they're here for fierce family showdowns in the hopes of building loving relationships. Please welcome Kimira to the show. Kimira, how you doing, honey? All right, uh, Kimira, why are you here today? I'm here today because I'm fighting my mom back for custody of my two-year-old daughter. And how my mom got custody of my daughter was I, um, I actually got incarcerated and I gave her temporarily custody of my daughter. Um, and it's, it's comp more complicated because your relationship with your mom over the years has been awful. Why? I was in and out of foster home, so um, every time I would run away, I would go to my mom and she would send me back. So I didn't really understand why you were sending me back. I keep coming to you. How many kids did your mom have? My mom has 10 kids. 10? Yes. Now, and she raised, how many of the 10 did she kind of raise on her own? All of us, except for one. Who's that? My oldest brother. But you were in and out, in and out of foster care. Plus, your mother had a terrible drug problem. Is that also true? Yes. That she grappled with all those years? Yes. Let's go back to you as a little girl, Kimira. What do you remember about your childhood with your mother? Because this layers as to why your mom will not give you back your daughter because of things that happened years ago. Well, I used to, I used to do a lot of different things, like as far as getting in trouble. Um, I actually set the cat on fire one day and... Now hold on. Uh, you were acting out. You were acting out and you actually set a cat on fire and put it out with mustard. Yes. I set the cat's tail on fire. All right. Let's go. Now, why'd you do that? Because I was mad. Uh, my mom actually told us we couldn't go outside. So, I, it's from another incident where, um, I did something, got my brother in trouble. So, she told us we weren't allowed to go outside. Well, I wasn't allowed to go outside. So. I knew she liked this cat a lot, so I set the, the tail on fire of the cat and ended up trying to get it out with the mustard. The cat was running all over the house, so the house got mustard all over it. And uh, in addition to that, uh, mom was physically abusive to you. You, used to, you went through beatings with your mother? Yes, I, I got beat every day. I was always doing something. She beat me with a dustpan before. She um, hit you with, it, with everything, whatever, whatever was, that, was there. She just beat you with it. And how old were you when the beating started? Um, I maybe six, probably younger than that. But I the one incident I remember I was six, and um, she she beat me with the dustpan because I, she said I was running my mouth. I was being Just in grown up you. business. Hundreds of times a year she beat you. Right. And, and a lot of this had to do with your mother's drug abuse. Would you say that she was less than a good mom to you because of the horrors of drug abuse that she suffered? I didn't notice her being less of a good mother to me. I didn't, I didn't notice none of that because that was my mom. I loved her. But besides the, the beatings and stuff like that, I was, I was just a kid. I didn't, I didn't care. You thought it was normal. You thought that's what, that's what happens. Yeah, I didn't care. Well, let's talk about today. Everyone has good and bad aspects of their childhood. What's going on today with your mother? We what is the problem today? She has my daughter, so when I, I, I'm supposed to get my daughter for three weekends out of a month. There she is. How hard is it when you look at that picture that you're not the person she calls mom? How does that make you feel? It makes me want to wring her <laughs> Because her kids got took and they took us from you, so why do you think it's okay that you take my daughter from me like that that hurts so much like I'm tired of telling her how much it hurts and she don't get it like why can't you play grandma why can't you just be our grandma like you were you were never not in the picture so as long as I had my daughter she still was getting her just like a grandma does so why do you feel like you have to be her mother like you make people think that I'm this unfit mother that I'm not when you weren't the best mom there was, like you weren't, you weren't. And today's the day you want your mother to say, here is your two-year-old back, you be the mother, because it's gotta hurt you when that child causes, calls your mother mom when you're the mother. Yeah, it hurts. It, I don't have a word for how much it hurts. Like, I gotta argue with her about getting my daughter like, why do I got to argue with you about something that's mine? It's like, that's my baby. Like, you had to argue with... She didn't argue with anybody about us. You didn't have to. They gave you a guideline and how much time you had to accomplish just to get us back, and you didn't, you didn't fight. 
Like, I feel like my fight shouldn't have to be with my mom. Sometimes I just want to just give up. Like, go ahead, you can have her. Like, that's too much. This is not normal. Like, I don't know nobody that go through this. I don't know nobody that goes through this with their mom. Like, nobody. Like, why me? Like, why do you have to put me through it when you were my best friend when I was a kid? Like, you took, you let this drug take you from me. And now I'm supposed to allow you to take my daughter from me? I don't, I'm not on drugs. I should be. I should be to deal with her. It's like. What, what's the reason she gives you? She, basically, she tells me why she took my daughter. She said I took her because she wasn't in the right situation. You were house hopping. But I, was, I wasn't really house hopping. I was just renting here, renting a room from here. And you didn't try to take none of my other kids either, though. I you, have but you kids. wanted her to take the child when you were in jail. You wanted her, but then you assume when you got out of jail, you're going to get your daughter back. And she won't give your daughter back, and that's why you're here. I had her take my daughter while I was in jail because I trust her. I knew my daughter would be okay. Like, nothing's going to go wrong with my mom. Like, this can't, I don't imagine anything going wrong with my mom. Like, not my mom. Like, Let's she puts do it up today, a crazy but the, fight. But the one time you trusted her. She switched up on me. She went against me. Let's find out why. Please welcome Kimara's mother, Margie, to the show. Margie, come on out. Margie, have a seat, honey. Tell me, why will you not give back your granddaughter to your daughter? Kimara's not stable. There's a whole lot of different things going on with you, Kimira. You send in threats. I gave you open opportunity three or four times, Kimira. Or do the order. You are to get gauge three times a three you times a month. Don't, you don't, don't even come and get her. You I let you move anything. back in my home, and every time you I let you bind with your daughter, I get phone calls that this is going on she with Gage. Lying. This is going she on be with lying. Tell her seriously. She okay. Be lying. We got to work this out between you two, honey. She be lying. Like don't work don't what out. Don't pretend to be somebody else that you're not. Tell me First why. Of all, tell like don't do that. She just threatened me just the other day. If I can't see my daughter, I'ma get you killed. And Gage killed, and nobody's going to have her. No, she, I didn't say that. What you did keep you say? You disrespecting me, and I'm sitting that. here doing the best I can do to help my daughter. I, I said, love what, my daughter. I, said, I got Gage because she you told you get killed. not to That's be in her life. You said to her, what's going to happen what's if you get killed? What's going to happen if you get killed? But you didn't threaten not to kill my daughter. your mother and your daughter. No. Yes, no. she did. Yes, she did. She did. Yes, she did. Every other time I'm going to go back and forth from her, you know I didn't say that. What's she going to do to me? You know I didn't say that. You're doing this for the image. That's what you're doing. You're doing this for these people. I gave you open You. It's not up to you. It is up to you. It's not up to you. order. Until you find your way back. You. Whatever happened to us in the past, get over it. It's not up to you. It was 16 you years saying. ago, sweeping on your rug. God forgave that's me. That's all you keep saying. The problem ain't with me and you no more. Take it to God, because that's where it's at. All You're right. not getting gay. All right, hold, hold on, honey. Know God is. Hold on, honey. She doesn't know God. You came here all the way to New York City not to yell and not to make charge. You came here to you. solve a problem, honey. It's, it's not going to be solved. You, we both said it. You yes. bring it up. You brought up the past. Let's go back she a little bit. Let's layer past. this thing a little I bit. Never even, Ten, you, need you need to bring up the past. You need to bring up the past. Yes, you I need to bring up the past. Because you, you were a mother. That's what you need. For you to step in and take care of my daughter. You couldn't even take care of your own. So they can have a good life. All those that she lies about this kid. None of her other kids are around her. She wasn't even with me. Did you sink into the world of drugs for five years? Yes, I did. And you have relapses every now and then? No, I don't. Since 2003? No, I don't. No. So right now, are you making up, in a sense, trying for the relationship you didn't have with Kimar. And today, when you say to her, no, you're not, not getting your kid back, no. there, there'll be no relationship. You've got to no. have a relationship. I tried it's over and over that to her. Seat. It's not Kimara. up to her. I we went to court and I agreed. Kimara. So we didn't out have to go back and forth kids, to court. Out of 10 kids, out of 7 of my, my daughter, daughter stay there. all of a sudden, come on, 16 years ago, we, where was we, what was we doing then, before this day? How many do you have a we relationship? We had a relationship. How I had a relationship with all my kids. Of the 10, how many do you have a relationship? All of them besides Kimara. 9 out of 10. Uh, except for Kimira. She's don't the only the one. Don't believe the hype. Don't believe the hype. Only one. Don't believe only it. Only one. You know why? Her guilt no. making her tilt. So don't, no. don't use what you're going through 
from what our past consists of. Now, today, I lived and did what I did, and I got over it. Let me see what you're going to do for yours. You came to resolve a problem. I hate it, Margie, when I hear you're not getting the kid back. No. Let's resolve it's not the up to her. That like, child belongs with her. mama. If and I don't possible. have, wait a minute, I don't have nothing against that. She wants to play house with my daughter. loves her. With her boyfriend. And I tell she her wants all to the house. time, Kimaira, your baby loves you. Let's do it. Let's take a short break. Other Just family members together. are here. You know other family members are here. Yes, they are. We got more coming up. Stay right there. This family showdown continues. What are you willing to do to solve the pain? I'm going to stop my pain. I want them to leave me alone. Accusations fly. 20 minutes later. Today's all about fierce family showdowns. Before we go any further, let me... let me. No, well, you two are still at it. We're trying to solve a problem, not aggravate problems. Let me ask you this. Do you understand possibly, Margie, that what's going on now in your relationship with your daughter may keep your daughter from having a relationship with her daughter? What are the one or two things? Number one, are you stable? Do you yes. live in one house? Do you have a job? No. You don't have a job. Where do you live? Like, you, you're, And you have two other kids that you're a mother to. So how is she a good mother to two and can't be a good mother to the third? Her baby's never in her care. The other baby is always going to. <laughs> My other grandson, eight years old, he ain't got his own bedroom yet. He said You tell me. You tell me. He said it. Then if you I'm get back, saying, if you stay out of my, if you stay out of my personal bill, life, bill, I can do stuff for myself. I say Every time I go to time. I work for something, I had do a, what you got to do. I don't me. want her daughter. I had a chance to move into an apartment. Too. She went to the apartment you complex really and told the landlord there? that I'm going to be selling drugs for my daughter's father, <laughs> so I couldn't get the place. She's not telling that. Did you give back the daughter one time? I gave her daughter back six times. Six. And what happened six times? Each time I gave her her daughter, I got a phone call. She is crazy. I got a phone call. Gage. Really? The father. From her? Somebody. Six took, times. Six times. Six, did that happen? The, the court system said if I turn Gage over, they're going to remove him. I requested to they the courts. They never said that. I requested to the courts, give her a chance. But if I was that yes, bad of a mom, six. why is you keep coming to my Children house and asking you. me because you asked somewhere to step? No, not keep. Why am I just keep providing one time. for you? I she just, just that lived one in time. my house. And I just be, put Kimai out. She want to run stuff. You don't run nothing in there. My life has changed, and if they can't respect my house and me, I don't me, want anything. But I don't if you're not to be that's me. when I told you. You love each other, right? I love my daughter. Do you love her? Yes, I do. Do you love her? Yes, I do. What What does she need to do to change? Just go get a place. She needs to stable. tell her to stop worrying about my life. It's mine. I got your daughter. I should not worry about your life. She should have worried about her kids before she worried about anything. Yeah, well, then the past get over it. I, I want to bring up one other so incident. There was another mine. time. Hold on, honey. There was another time, Kimar, where you called your mother for help when you were eight months pregnant and you got, got shot. shot. Tell me about there. when you got shot. And I was there. You came? I, she, you came? I was there. She called the hospital. Did you hospital. go to the hospital when your no, daughter was no, shot? No, two different counties. No, I had no but transportation. But she can get but down there. That, how much that hurt you? When she want to go down there for any stupid incident, Buses. she gets down there. If a mother well, finds out that her child is in the hospital you. shot, they walk no, there, no, they no. take a bus there, no. they take a and cab I there. That. I had no way of getting there. You had no way of getting there. No, no. no. It was in the next day. It was 20 miles. No, 20 months later. 20 miles away. Oh, it wasn't 20 miles. How did, like it you, away, how did it make you feel? Your mother knew you were shot on, eight months Myra. pregnant, and your mom didn't come to the hospital. We communicated over the phone. Explain how you... I talked to her to stop it. I talked to you how many times? She's y'all believe what she wants y'all to believe. I talked to you how many times? the reality times? of all this, it hurts I'm her. still there for it my kids. It hurts to know such... How no much matter how they disrespect me, no matter how they treat me, when they need me, I'm there. Imagine this. Imagine they this. Me. You had ten they... kids. You had severe drug problems. Yes, I and did. And you loved and I, everyone. And, and here's one. Still got, she came still to you. Going through a she came to you twice and said, "I need help. I'm lying in the hospital. Shot. You didn't show up." Well, what about Secondly, the whole thing? She that goes that to jail and she gives me. you the baby. It no, that's not how it happened. Listen, it don't matter. That's not how it happened. I got a phone call. She let me come and get Gage, and she said, "Mom, you never met Gage yet." So I said, "I'm coming," because Gage was very sick. She brought Gage to me. For the overnight, 20 minutes later, the cops are on my door, children and youth is on my door. And I'm asking why. That's the child we're talking about right there. Yes, that's, that's what we're that talking child. about. She was three months old. Three months. Two They've months. made a statement that they had to look at the kid, look at fine Gage, because Kimira was supposed to drown her and kill her. That didn't happen. That was the phone call that was made. That's how I got Gage. No, you got Gage because you, I called me.
me. No, she you was called in, me. You asked me. Do you get, think gay to me would be in danger? No, I would not. No, 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 no. That no. woman loves your baby. I know she She did. got my daughter because she called me and asked me. I just had got That's up into the town happened. where she lived at. She That's asked me, can she get her? She said she was going to get a ride. She came and got my daughter, and that's how that, that was. When we continue, we have other family members here. Today, this family is hurting in terrible pain. I am Our too. goal I am too. is to she solve wanted to be about her. Too. She wanted to be about her. What are you willing to do to solve to the pain? What are you willing to do? I'm going to solve my pain. I want them to leave me alone. I'm never that's going to leave. With it. As long as you got my daughter, that's I'm not going to leave. You're the leader. Alone. You're the matriarch I'm of this family. I'm to be that model for them right now. And I'm 51 years old, going to 52, and I ain't got time for it. They got their own life they got to live in. Like you live you it, said you'll do she anything for her. I tried it. You'll do anything. Over and over and over. Who fell? Keep my rep. Not she, me. You don't give not up on me. your kids, she honey. Not, you listen, don't give up. This is what she got to do. She's not giving she up. She thinks she can give me guidelines. You said. You just said. It's over. You just said. I'm going to have to listen to her. She's 24. She rules like I'm supposed to follow her. Okay. In my house. Yes. In my house. I'm not in your house. She That's the only time. My life. If you can't go get this job right. here, go get this there. No, Stop I'm making worrying about me. Make suggestions. Stop. Let's no, do this. Um, we have another family member or two me. present I'm that's going to talk about this. this. We're here as a show trying to solve a real life problem. At the end of the show, I like to see a conclusion and a glide path so she gets back her daughter. And I think I don't you. Have a problem with giving in that case, we're going to come up with solutions. So Stay right there. We'll be back. Stay right there. Another child. When you was put away from me, out of my care. Why was I put away out of your care? Why? You was at the wrong place the wrong time. Another side to this story. I mean, the wrong time is when you're eight years old, <laughs> and you walk in your mom's room, you say, Mom, how do you something to eat? And she punches you in your face. And this. I'm done with my kids. All right, I'm, I'm done. Omar. Love watching from your couch? Wait until you see us live. If you're going to be in the New York City area and want free tickets to see a taping of the show, go to our official website, BillCunninghamShow.com. Fierce family fighting is what uh, is being discussed today. Before Margie, we bring on another family member. As I see this, you had a terrible drug addiction for many years. You had 10 kids. And during the drug addiction, you could not have been the kind of mother no. you would have wanted to, to be. be. In and fact, some of that. the kids you just reunited last year with. No, so, I didn't. Well, That's recently, recently. Five years ago. Five years ago. I found all of them. As, as you found them you all. You just now saw Angela and them. So they were not in a functioning, typical, huxable type family, no matter what you say. Now, no. is it possible, no, is it possible that that conduct as an adult that you engaged in freely is washing into this relationship with Kimira today? And that the conflicts going this way are being exacerbated or caused by this other child. That somehow this relationship's got to be better. And if this relationship is better, then that relationship with Gage is going to be better. Until we solve this problem, okay. we're not going to solve that problem. Okay, but then it's the way they talk to me, and you're right. Tell and me, I accept it. Well, I got, let me listen, Mama. I what, 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 what are your kids say? What is your your, your kids say? When to my you? other children came around, keep my them dog me out, or she ain't this, really and she there. ain't that. Excuse Let's me. Let's be honest. Let I was there one time. I, the reason why we're here one like time. this and we going back and forth, yes, I would want help. Name calling? Do you recall Do beating her in the head when she was a kid? I, well, come on, never hit, I, no, I never, never hit her. Never hit her. Never hit her. Not every day. Myra. Not See, every you day. You never got a me. beating from me. Never. You ain't beat me with the no. dustpan? No. Keep my room. You don't beat me with the dustman. When I was going through my addiction, my mother had Kimira. you were addicted and didn't know what you My mother had Kimira. My mother had Kimira. No. She's lying. My mother had Kimira. You never beat her. She did have me. Oh, my gosh. But I wasn't with her forever. We're going to go back on my past. We're going to talk about what's today. Why not talk about your past? The way you talk to me and the way you sit and lie and you disrespect me. Why not talk about your past? I'm not out to hurt you. Gage loves you, Kimira. And I'm saying the same thing I say to you then. No matter what we go through, she ain't got to see this conflict. It's not enough here to her. It's not good but for But I'm games. not going to break her heart. I'm there for you. you I tell you all the time, I'm going to give you time. She wants to be with me. Keep Myra. She you wants had, to be with me. This is through the order. She gets Gage three weekends a month. You know when she see Gage? Maybe once a month Let when me. it's convenient for her. But Margie, so I tell Keep Myra, she has three biological kids. She has two of the three. you really believe they're all stable with her? Do, do they stay have a different address every month. She just got put out of my house, so you tell me how stable is that. Let's do this. Please welcome Kimara's brother and Margie's son, Omar, to the show. Omar, come on out. How you doing, man? Omar, I've just learned from your mama 
that she has great relationships with all of her kids except Kimara. Great what is her relationship with you? Great relationship. That's what she said. Bro. Who? We don't have no great relationship. Me and you? You know what you want here because you want to be a rock star. Come on. What you just tell Omar? You got a good relationship? But what you just tell Omar? We did have a good relationship. We got a good relationship, right? Let me ask a question. Omar. Let me ask We got such a good relationship, right? What's my favorite color? What's my favorite color? Margie. What's my favorite color? May. How you don't know your son's favorite color? Hold on. You're grown. You're grown. How old am I? How old am I? You too. How old am I? You too. How old am I? You too. How old am I? I ain't got the answer. How old am I? You how do you not know? How do you not know your son is? You 22, Omar. How you know she's your son? She's 22, Omar. Why did she tell the perfect mom? Let tell her. Tell it. You know, you're oh. the perfect mom, right? What she tell you, though? Right, mama. You took care of all of us, right? Wait, wait, wait. You raised all of us, right? You raised all of us, right? No, I didn't. Oh, all right, but you're a perfect mom. What day was she born? Wait a minute. What's his birthday? She don't know. 91. 91. What's the birthday? 411, Omar. And you weigh two pounds, okay? You know why she remember that? Why? Because he just pushed me out. She pushed me out. That's the reason why she remember that. Wait a minute. When you was put away from me out of my care, why was I put away out of your care? Why? You was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Because my no, 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 mother no, no, had to be That's not why. That's not why I was put out. First of all, when you got back in my life, when you got back in my life, I don't want to talk. I want to march. When you got back in my life, wrong place, wrong time means, right? Yeah. I'm going to tell you, 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 I'm going to the wrong time. The wrong time. Is, the wrong time is when you're eight years old <laughs> and you walk in your mom's room. You say, "Mom, can I get something to eat?" And she punches you in your face. You see this right there? You see that right there? You remember that? You remember yeah. that? No, you don't remember that. You don't. You never punch my face. No. So listen, right? She never made that up, right? Okay, Omar. She never put your hands on me. You wait a minute. You know what? Why when y'all found you and through foster care, we went through counseling. We didn't find you. We didn't find you. I found you. I found you. I found you. A private investigator. Who called your phone on Mother's Day? You called my mother. Who called your phone on Mother's Day? They moved you near me. Omar, she never got counseling first. So what she did tell you about that? That's the one. She never got it. Let's see this. Let's go to Omar. Let's go to Omar. I'm gonna tell you. Let him talk. Let him talk. Right? Go ahead. To my mom, she don't want nothing to do with me. She don't want to know me. My mom That's told me my true. face. That's not true. So you ain't just saying that. You just told him he was God's child, not yours. This is word for word. What you said to you two weeks ago. Word for word. word. Listen, no, me, me, me and my mom, me first. Me and my mom was having an argument, right? You hate me. Yeah, I said I hope you die. I said it. Yeah, I hope you die. You said me. 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 You why That's you lie. And then you lie. You didn't lie. Listen, you he wasn't your right? child. I can, you didn't I can want sit him. here. I can sit here and tell y'all about my life mm. for four weeks from now about what this lady did. Leave it right, right? there. We're you gonna come back with more. Stay right mind. there. Stay there. These families' tensions are about to boil over in three. Love and Omar is the out of pocket. How we out of pocket? I'm trying to humiliate y'all. I'm trying to humiliate you. Don't say. I'm talking to you now. What are you doing? 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 What are are you and your family constantly feuding? But it's time to stop the fighting for good. Maybe we can help. Contact me at BillCunningHimShow.com. Call me at 1-855-US-BILL or text GUEST at 95902. Message and data rates may apply. Give us a call right now. Who, in your view, Margie, you claim that Omar uh -huh. was turned against you by this lady, correct? Yes, that Omar was. was in love, he Man, loved his Omar, mother. All of a sudden, his mind him. was overtaken. Bill, Bill me and my me. son don't... Listen, we I don't go do this with my son. Know you know what his thing was? He got... She called him, oh, we can go on this TV show and blah, blah, blah. You know when my son first disrespect me? <gasps> I said that to you, bro. That day. Did that I happen? I don't have no problems with my son. I she called me about my the son. son. She called you. She no, called me. Wait, this is how she's a troublemaker and, and, and she, she called she, me. She, she Kimara, called me. I called my no, daughter and said, yo, mom said no, she wants us to be on this show. I to never get, said to no. let everybody Margie know. Margie called so the show. I, Margie did. Never invite, it was about me and my daughter. Yeah, she didn't invite us. I invited You didn't invite me. You invited her. I invited her. No, they can the You said you're great Let me say this. I'm in Beach House. I'm in the house. Let me say this, Margie. You called the show to solve a problem. How 
You are solving a problem right now, honey. You want to come to the show? She can make. Hold on. We got Ashley. Hold on. We got Ashley. We got Ashley. Hold on, honey. What do we got to lie for? Hold on. Hold on. You had a terrible childhood. You know she. You had a terrible childhood. Please welcome. No childhood. No childhood. Another of Margie's daughters and Kimara and Omar's sister, Ashley, the show. Ashley, come on now. Let Ashley talk. Let her talk, Ashley. You've heard all this. I am going to tell them what it is. Let's hear it, Ashley. Thank you for allowing me. And Omar is the out of pocket. How we out of pocket? Because y'all trying to humiliate your mother. How we trying to humiliate her? She brought us there. At home, it's not about talking about nobody. Ain't nobody here nobody could have did nothing. What you talking about? You, really? She brought us here. Really? What are you she talking about? We could have did this at home. We can't do this at home. Can't nobody talk to her. She brought me here. Let Ashley talk. Ashley, you got to talk. Let her 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 Right. Yeah, because right. at the end of the That's day, at the end of the day you're going to do what you say, right? Yeah. Because you know everything yeah. you know yeah. that happened with me and her, right? I don't, I don't care what happened to you. Right, right. That's, That's not, not my problem. If you don't care, then what you here for? That's not my problem. What's whatever happened to you when you was in there? If you don't care what's going on, what's going on? Whatever happened to you when you was in there? I don't care what happened to you when you was in there. That's not my issue. So what is you here for? My issue is this. Y'all being disrespectful. So hurt? And all that extra. I'm saying on this TV show and all of that Listen, I, I is irrelevant. I said on TV show, I said in newspaper, I said no, in magazine. I'm no, just saying, you don't. Right, this is what you're about. This is the thing. If y'all don't want to be bothered with a shame away from it, if y'all still be bothered with a shame, she got my daughter. She got my daughter. Leave her alone. She should have called these people. Be around it. Ashley, your mama. Hold on, honey. Hold on. Just for me. She was never in trouble. Ashley, your mama. Ashley, she should have called these people. 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 She should have called you ain't want to go through all this. this I don't want to go through all that. But she and wrote it. And you're not going to come on here and, and say what you said and she you did it anyway. I'm going to say it because she's lying to these people. You know what going on. Don't Ashley, pretend Ashley. for these Your people. Your mama got a hold of us to solve a problem with between Kimira. these two with Kimira because That's of all. Gage. Yes. Have you ever, have you seen Gage interact with these two to give us some perspective as to what kind of mother Kimira is or what kind of grandmother uh, your mother is? She's not a bad grandmother. She's not a bad mother. But certain things that Kimira said is not the truth. And For example, certain things I said not the truth too. I ain't hear what you said because I don't care. Don't so don't say nothing to me. Don't say nothing to me. I don't want you to say nothing to me. What I said not true. 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 I'm talking to you now. What are you saying? What are you saying? Stop playing. What are you talking about? Omar, listen. What are you talking about? Stop playing. What are you talking about? Stop playing. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Stop playing. 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 What are you going to do to me? Nothing. Oh, my God. See, you ain't so touchy. I'm going to know you ain't. I wish you would. Come on. You're not going to win for me. Remember that. And I'll be home. And I'm going to treat you like you're not my brother. What are you talking about? I'll be home. Get off of me. No, get off of me. I'll be home. I'll be home. They still got to go home. If you love watching from your couch, wait until you see us live. For your free tickets to a taping in New York City, go to our website, BillCunninghamShow.com, or call toll-free 888-710-8425 now. Do you want to make a difference? I'd like to hear how you would get to the root of the problem in this relationship. Do you think Kimira will ever get her daughter back? Call 1-855-TELL-BILL to give us your opinion. You'll hear how the rest of America answered and received today's valuable offers. Call 1-855-TELL-BILL. They're not going to disrespect you. you Period. Because you want my this one, uh, she, they got to go home with me. She she remember that. See, see the same girl that oh, called my phone the other day? Oh, man, you can't come beat this dude Did? up for me? He talking, talking, all this and all that. But last week, you just told me, you hope, you hope I get shot in the face, but you come on the show act like, mommy, this is the perfect do. person. That's that's not cool. But I don't like these women. Is there any way that your feelings about your mom were caused by comments from No, listen, listen, listen. Nothing listen. to do with it. Nothing to do with it. I, I had problems with my mom all my life. My mom don't give a 
on me. My mom told me she, I'm gonna be famous in the dirt. She don't believe I can sing. She don't believe I can do anything. What she happened two weeks ago between you two? I listen, I flipped, I flipped her whole house up because my mom told you I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be famous. I'm not gonna be. She don't want to. She don't want to know who I am. She never wanted to know how I am. I'm God's son. And every time you son. look in the mirror, what do you see? That's, that's from her. Her. Every time you, you look at your face. You didn't touch me. Like what you don't remember? You think I don't remember? She said I didn't. She never beat me. You think I don't remember? I she walked in the room. Me. I said, Mom, can I get something to eat? No, get the she in my room. Punch she needs to tell them. She needs to actually to tell them how she but was our mom. What kind of mother is Kimara with gays? She's a good mom, duck kids. Why do you think your mom won't give back her child? Because she got a problem with me. She, what, what do you she, say, she got a problem. That's what my mom do. That's what my mom do. With all our kids, right? My mom take our kids and rest and restarts the whole process. Go ahead. And, and and so, do you think she's using that as a club against Kimara, a weapon? I don't know. How do we solve the problem, Omar? You're the only man on the stage. She need to give me back my daughter. I'm trying. I, I've been trying to solve this problem. I try to solve. I try to sit down you and talk to her. You can't try to talk to her. Like, I, 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 didn't, I didn't sit down. I forgave my mom. I'm not worried about it. I don't get. I don't get mad about what it. What do you anymore. want out of this? Because your mother's the one to call the show. Oh, my mom. Listen, I don't want to say, all right, son. I'm sorry. I apologize. That, because because out of any any of her kids, no, not just apologize. Any, she can apologize. Kids, like, and she don't know what she's apologizing for. I went through most. I went through. I went through it all. Like we need apologies with actions. Words are many. Deeds are precious. We need apologies with actions. I want no apology. But you no, want your she child gotta back. Apologize to I look at it like this. What do you want back? What do you want? I, back? I just want my mom. Like I just want my mom to be my mom. That's it. Like just be my mom. No get to Did know Did she really I am. just to pick up a chair to throw at you? I'm not worried about what? Ashley. Stay here. I got an idea. That's what she do. It's this. That's what Ashley do. Mama, mama. I don't want to hear nothing. Mama, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm no, I don't want to hear nothing. You know what Omar just told me? If my Come mom, on. if if your mom. If my mama would like say... Like if y'all want it out there, let's put it out there real. Let's do it. Omar. I'm 51 years old. What I want her daughter for? When did my life begin? You my want it. My son just turned on me for Kimaira. I got a relationship with my son. He won a career. He graduated. Don't sit on national TV because you want to be down. Tell the truth and maybe somebody will hear you and understand. Oh, Omar. I know they got pain. I still do too. They don't know ex-mommy how it was it for me. I just talked to Omar. They, they asked me how it was it for me. No, I ain't got my granddaughter to make up for Kimaira. I got my granddaughter because she don't want her. Right, that baby right. loves her. You know what she do to games? She come in my house. I have to put Kimaira out. She come in my house and that baby go, Mom, can I go with you? She say, no. Go upstairs with my mom and Gigi. Games too. She sit there and go, she call her Myra. I said, Kimaira, only way she call you Myra, because you don't be around her. I correct Gage. You really think my grandkids would be in my life if I was that bad as them two presume me to be? I Ask them what was going on before today. Do you want to hear a message? Carla, please. Do you want yes. to hear a message I'm from done Omar. with my kids. Right, I'm I'm done. Omar said if my mom would say to me today, I'm sorry for what I've done. Let's I, start fresh. Wait a your minute. son says okay, he loves you. Okay, I understand you. it. Why do we got to do it today? And I've been done it. I don't. I, I do it well, every day. You're here. You're here. I, you contacted the show every, because you no, wanted. No, it wasn't about no Omar. Stop it. Me and my kids, we y'all they do. Mama, mama, that's why I asked I you for the paperwork. Letters. We got the And here's letters. I got six group. letters. She gave me that baby because she couldn't do it. Don't mama, lie on me. That's why I asked you. Don't lie on me. That's why I asked you. This Don't lie on me. This is the proof when we can This is the that. third time she's been in court. They wait a minute, they gave me full custody. I said they was gonna take her other two kids. You know what I said to the judge? No. Don't do that. What I'll do is take off of the full custody and come on, Kimara, we're gonna do sheer custody. Have she followed this order? No! My grandbaby hurts every day. I tell you, Myra, come and get her. Gage asks for her all the time. If y'all had a phone, you'll see. All I need you to do one time is hear her out. Can you hear her out? Can you, and then you let her hear you. Bill, please, just one thing. Let me say this one thing. Y'all yes. notice a difference in one, whether it's the truth or not. Yes. Bill, you're not on our page as a mother. Let me just explain this to you. Do y'all recognize this the truth or not? That's all I got to say. Then I'll go back out there. Yes, I, the, the, I believe. I believe this. I, I believe That's this, I honey. I believe this. I believe this. Come on, let's go. Come on. Okay. One time. Okay. One time, and let's end. If this way, it, if this is the way it ends, this is the way it ends. Okay. We're gonna have the proof. I believe the proof. Okay. One time. She got it. One okay. time. I, I want you to have your say and Kimara to have her say, and that's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I've seen the proof. Okay. okay. Are you and your family constantly feuding? But it's time to stop the fighting for good. Maybe we can help. Contact me at BillCunningHimShow.com. Call me at 1-855-US-BILL or text GUEST at 95902. Message and data rates may apply. Give us a call right now. Close.
mother-daughter battle. Until you find it's your way, baby, you. whatever happened to us in the past, get over it. Just take it to God, because that's where it's at. A family divided. I'm 51 years old. Well, what I want her daughter for? When did my life begin? You my want it. son just turned on me for Kimaira. Will there be a resolution? If we pay for the counseling and we pay for the mediation sessions, I'm yes. offering now. Are you willing yes, to? You did. Are, are you, yeah, hold on. It's happened times. before. When? But are you willing to do it this time? How can my guests today let go of their anger and learn to love family members once again? Please welcome relationship coach Donna Barnes to the show. Donna Barnes. <laughs> Many times you don't know who to believe. I'm holding in my hand, dated December 12th, file stamp the clerk of court's office, 2012, the order in which Marjorie and uh, Kimaira teed it up in front of a judge. And essentially this judge ruled that this woman has full custody of one and they all th both of them have partial custody of the other two and that's the, what the order says and so of the other two what of the other two children, children. Uh, 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 yes finish. of the other two me and her yeah mm -hmm. have share custody of my other two yeah that's what it says in here my other two wasn't even they about well, you may not know it but this is what the order says we don't we all right don't. Don't. let's get past that donna barnes she probably yes. just got there i, I don't know D yeah. donna you watched it all. Mm -hmm. This mother loves that child and loves yes. that child, and both yes. of them love her. The purpose of Margie coming here was to resolve a problem with Kimara relative to custody of the two-year-old. Mm -hmm. And she wants to give the child back. Mom wants to get the child back. However, Mom thinks the daughter's behavior is so bad that it would put Gage at risk. Am I summarizing this? Right back her uh, again. Any ideas? There's that beautiful child right there. It, it needs to be about the child and what is absolutely best for the child. And that's so, what I try to discuss with her shut up. all the time. You know how sad Gage look when she promises she coming? Then she knows she's not. Kids, she kids need stability. And just right. to, and that's my just point, to because share. Because I tell her that when you get Gage, the order means try to have a relationship well, with I, Gage. Don't I, get her and just go on a Let's hear from Donna. Can I give you my input a little yes. bit now? Because to be honest, I was adopted. So okay. I didn't grow up with my biological family. And at 21, I met my biological family. And really, stability is what's most important. And I didn't see my biological mother until I was already an adult because she was not the best choice for me so really it's about what is going to be and i'll tell you it does rip your child's heart out to yes. see you sometimes and then and see then you the, not hey, and feel like she's not wanted by I'm you here. that child that's needs to know yes. that she's loved and wanted you need okay. to prove to her that you you need to prove to the court quite frankly yes that you're capable to the court of anything. doing the you do because you're legally you don't have a right to look honey i'm not trying i'm trying to help you you need Nothing. to prove that you're capable before the court will be on your side. You need the court on your side. You have to care about what they say because, unfortunately, they have all the strength and the power. And so instead of the to... argument... Maybe I got a resolution. Yeah. Let me talk about... We do this for special guests. What if we take care of, in your hometown, a moderator, a mediator, to try to get you three, which is your daughter, you, mom, and the grandmother, together, if we pay for the counseling and we paid for the mediation sessions to work toward the goal of reuniting Gage with mom. Are you willing to, are you, I, I, I'm offering now, are you willing yes, to? Yes, you did. Are, are you, all right, hold on, it's happened times. before. When? But are you willing to do it this time? This is when? the future. This is about the future. Okay. If are I'm, you willing? Okay. No, do it with Kimara so she can do it with Kimara, her daughter. You, I'm not going with it anymore. I'm done. You got to go because the law says you got custody. If you're not there, it's no good. Mama, okay. you said all the time in the show you love your daughter want to be with your daughter you want gage back okay, let's be yes, i'll agree to that all right now wait. See, I'll stay right there she won't be there kimara will you agree I'll to agree. sit there yes, be, be positive i'll agree right. yes, kimara do you agree yeah yes okay we yeah. have it exactly. when we continue the bottom line for more info go to the website billcunninghamshow.com Do you want to make a difference? I'd like to hear how you would get to the root of the problem in this relationship. Do you think Kimaira will ever get her daughter back? Call 1-855-TELL-BILL to give us your opinion. You'll hear how the rest of America answered and received today's valuable offers. Call 1-855-TELL-BILL.
What's your wish for your child or grandchild? Before we go to the bottom line today, there's a little bit of unfinished business, which is what Omar said to me backstage that he wanted to say to his mom. So, Kimar, if you would stand down for a moment, and Omar, if you'd look at your mom and say to her what you said to me backstage. I just want you to own up, like, what you did. Like, I'm not really too... I'm not here to be getting on your nerves and to be bashing you, putting on the scene in front of all these people. Like, at the end of the day, own you my up. mom. Own up. Is you gonna let me talk? Like I've I been. said, listen, like I said. Come on. I want I'm you to own up. You. You gonna, if, you, if, if you wanna talk, I ain't even gonna speak. It ain't Don't worth speak, it. Don't speak, because it's unnecessary Charlie. right now. Y'all see, right? Y'all see, right? Y'all see, right? Don't I've speak, been, right? Y'all see that, right? I've been apologized to right. Oprah. So how you, how you supposed to, how you supposed to talk to your mom? It's not about it's a it's not now, We ain't been there, did it? Me and my son went to counseling. It's not about okay. apologizing. No, 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 no. What is your objection? Wait, he's, if he's asking me, for something mom, from you. Why can't you forgive him? I could have said that. I could have just said that. Mom, I forgive that. That. you too. I understand you were sick. Right. But why you ain't let me just say that? So don't mom, you let me say that. Let's do that. Before we go on the text message, let me say how much I tell him. I want you to hear for 12 seconds what Omar told you. You got to hear it. Now, you promise me, will you give him 12 seconds? Go ahead. Go ahead, Omar. Do it. All right, like I was saying. I'm not really too pressed about the past, whatever. Everybody go through what they go through. Everybody got their own, they own addiction, their own twist, their own, their own drug that they had to go through. Everybody got their own problems. And then they you my mom. You only get one. I don't disrespect you. I don't I don't call you out your name. I don't I don't I don't I don't, I don't, I don't want you to regret the things you did in your life because in the, the day, I don't know what you was going through as a child. I don't know what you, what happened to you in your past. So if I don't judge you on it, I love you as my mom. But don't sit in my face and ever tell me I'm not gonna be nothing. Uh, okay, Omar. Listen, that, I love you, son. Man, I'm Give not done talking. I, 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 I love you. I don't want to hurt you. I love you. I don't want to hurt you. Let's do this. I don't want to hurt you. Let's do this. I want to thank all my guests for coming in, and I'll see you the next time. I got closure. I have closure. Whether they do or not, but I at least let them know I do love them. And I'm hoping that after the day, things can get a little better without the animosity and the bull crap. But y'all, I need to say to y'all, I'm not pushing y'all away. It's time for mommy to live her life. I don't want your apology. And I the want guilt, you to understand. Y'all got to take it for you. I understand. Yes, I do. Don't understand. Because if you yes, understand, you would take me to f***ing Myra. You're taking yourself to a No, you. Myra.